Hey guys, welcome to day 197 of my carnivore journey, and I hope you're having a good journey. If not, let me know in the comments. But um, but guys, how are you doing? You're doing okay. <laughs> so uh, today was keto. <laughs> Um, I say that because if you know, yesterday I had a almost full carnivore with a keto pizza sauce. So it made it a keto pizza, basically. And I had some leftover sauce. Um, so today I experimented. I got a pork beef blend. It was a pork and Angus beef blend. It was a one pound pack. And I... I flattened it, I, or I added an egg, salt, uh, onion, garlic powder, you know, just some you know seasonings, so a little bit of oregano, and then I, I mashed it all up into like a meatball paste or whatever, just mashed it all up and spread it out into the iron skillet, um, much like I did if you guys remember my iron skillet pizza. So I flattened it out nice and thin and flat in the skillet, all the way to the edges of the skillet. I actually, I, before I put it in the skillet though, I did smear bacon grease in the skillet. Baked it at like 400 degrees for like a half hour, but I screwed up. So I took the skillet out after about 25 minutes, there was quite a bit of grease and I wanted to kind of skim off some of it. So I took the iron skillet with some hot pads and I was tipped it up enough to try to drain the grease wall. The burger, I, I didn't have it on a major angle, but the burger ended up kind of sliding out and fell in the sink. Well, the sink I had just rinsed out. So I'm like, okay, it's a stainless steel sink. I had, it was, it was clean, it was rinsed out. While I was trying to get it out, I set the pan down. I was like, oh shit, I set the pan down. I was trying to get, and I was trying to get my large spatula to try to recover all in one piece. Well, when I was trying to do that, I went to adjust the pan, uh, the skillet, which was sitting there on the counter next to the sink. I went to adjust it, and and I, for whatever reason, and I'm normally very good about this stuff, but I grabbed the skillet with my bare hand, and of course, um, you can't tell, but I got some burn spots on my hand. I can feel them. The pad of my pinky hurts. Uh, I've got a few other little spots. But yeah, um, compared, this is the hand compared to this hand. You can see this one's got a little more sizzle to it. <laughs> you know? Uh, so yeah, I, I did that. So after I cussed, I, I did get, and then the burger did break apart in pieces. So I got all the pieces back in the pan. I put it back in the oven and I um, I uh, put the broiler on just to kind of crisp it up even more a little bit. Broiled it for, for like five minutes or something, I want to say. Took it out with a hot mitt. Like I, I'm normally really good about the hot mitts uh, and, the, and the, the pads. But again, it was just that quick, you know, just trying to make a quick adjustment with the pan. And anyways, so... Took it out, got all the pieces as close together as I could, put some pizza sauce, mozzarella cheese, and pepperoni, and I threw it back in the oven, 400 degrees, for like 10 minutes, and then top it off with a broil just to brown up the top a little bit. And there you go. That's what it, that's what it uh, came out to be. So... Um, so there you go. And and it looked good and it tasted better. It, it actually tasted better than the iron skillet pizza I did the first time. The iron skillet pizza was really thick pork sausage. This time it was a blend of beef and pork and it was a thinner layer, but now it did shrink down. That's why when you see the pieces, that's why it didn't fill the whole pan because this time the beef and pork shrank after cooking. Um, so, you know, I mean, that is what it is. I'm not going to stress about that. Um, but uh, it would have looked like a little smaller version of like a, a personal pan pizza, like a circular version if I wouldn't have dropped it. But uh, yeah, 
flavor wise, it wasn't bad. Like I said, to me, it reminds me of like I'm eating a a breadless meatball sub. You know, I did a, do a little bit of Parmesan on there. So, yes, again, technically because of the sauce, it was I went keto again tonight. I'm not going to keep doing that. It's just that I don't like to waste things. So when I had leftover sauce, I wanted to utilize it. And since I did the pizza yesterday, I figured, hey, well, let's let's just get it done and get it out of the way. Then that way I could start um, going back to my steaks and whatnot this week. <laughs> so I did pick up some bacon from the store. I'm going to bake some more bacon and I need, and I did pick up a pound of local, uh, just one pound of local beef, uh, Virginia beef, even though I'm in Tennessee, I'm right by the border. Um, but, uh, did that and what else? But, and for lunch, I did have two hot dogs. I know guys, I'm going to be getting away from those, but. I, I just didn't have a choice tonight, so I did the hot dogs, and I did have a small bag of pork rinds. So I would say in the last couple of days between the carnivore pizza and even the day before that, probably over the weekend and today, I probably had more calories. If And again, I know we don't count calories, but I'm just saying I've, I've intaked a lot more food calorie-wise than I have in a while. So I am looking forward to getting back to just steaks and of ho hopefully just eggs. Um, I, I think I might actually try after this video tonight. I think I'm going to try to hard boil some eggs. I keep talking about it, so I'm just going to do it because uh, I don't have a lot of time to, to do anything else. So I think I'll do that. I'm going to do that and then I'll have to go to my my next job. But guys, thank you all so, so much for the comments. Appreciate all the love and support. I mean, seriously, um, you guys are awesome. I just can't stress that enough. I really can't. Having your help really helps me. And I and I also want to thank you guys, the, everybody that's been going over to my roommate's channel, The Carnivore Tales. Um, and... I just want to say thank you again for those of you that's been commenting and giving him some love and watching his videos, uh, because again, it's really going to help him out and he definitely needs the help. I mean, he really does like me. I, I'm pretty strong mental, men, you know, I can grasp a lot of things mentally and I have that fortitude. Um, I'm not sure if he has the, the as much fortitude. I think he's, he's committed to the 90 days. I believe that, but. I don't know. We'll see. I, I'm, I've, I've, got, I've, I've been trying to be supportive and, and try to help him and encourage him along the way. But we'll see. You know, we'll see. But for you guys going over and really giving them that outside help, you know, because it's different. Whenever you live with somebody or you know somebody on a personal level, sometimes it's a little different. It's almost like that parent effect. You know, when your parent tells you something, but then when your friend tells you something or somebody that, you know, is like in a different category, like an outsider and they tell you something, sometimes it hits differently from the outsider, you know, anyways, all right, guys, we'll see you tomorrow. And yeah, yesterday I was saying day 195. And then when I, when I went to the editor and I started looking at everything, I was like, wait a minute. I was like, this is actually day 196. So I labeled everything 196, even though I say it in 195. But today, yes, 197. And uh, I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.